everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am sharing a layout with you in collaboration with Paper Issues and their beautiful kits that they um, started releasing again. So I am going to be using the November kit and this kit is very autumn, fall, Thanksgiving themed. And um, <laughs> As it happens, um, we don't really have autumn or fall in Dubai, and we as South Africans don't celebrate Thanksgiving. However, this time of year it does get a lot colder, cooler, and we are able to spend lots of time outside. So this is autumn for us. It's not in the traditional sense autumn, but it is autumn for us. And I have a lot to be thankful for, even though I don't celebrate Thanksgiving. I have a lot to be thankful for. So I am going to be using this kit to scrap this layout that I want to just sort of scrap something of how I'm thankful for my children. And I know Lucy is not in that photo, but um, I scrap a lot of photos of Lucy in any case. So this is just of my three older children. And you'll see there that I fussy cut out most of the um, the oranges and the leaves of that beautiful paper, pattern paper. And now I'm just cutting some of the little um, icons out of the ephemera pack. And I chose the ones that are more sort of orangey colored. And uh, I really wanted to put in that fox and the squirrel, but in the end they don't make the loud. I don't think they quite, you, you can't find a fox in a, you know, in a tree with oranges but you can find a birdie and um, there might be a tree next to the <laughs> orange tree with acorns I don't know <laughs> that's just my logic so I know you can find a, a squirrel there but I didn't want to put the squirrel in there I just wanted the little birdie and um, I really liked the way that turned out so I'm going to be using some of these um, little Bella Boulevard just one of them that says blessed uh, one of those little hearts and they are just have a look here heart hugs so they're also from the collection oh, from the kit and I use a lot of these uh, chipboard accents from the Echo Park, Echo Park celebrates autumn and uh, it is again I tr try to stick to my color scheme the browns the oranges the reds see the yellows and so on and I do bring in some of the green leaves as well. So um, I do um, try to scatter them as haphazardly as I can, but also try to keep balance within my layout. Sort of, um, you know, if, if I put something red on the one end, I will then put something red on the other end and, and so on, just to make sure that I do keep balance and, and so on. Okay, so I'm going to start gluing everything down now and I am just too lazy today to run downstairs to get my other glue, my tacky glue. So I'm just going to be using my glue pen over there and that works perfectly fine. I am going to be popping up some elements on um, some uh, foam squares just to um, balance out the dimension that the chipboard gives. I do pop up that little birdie on the left hand side on some foam squares just so that it stands out a little bit more. I didn't want that bird to get lost in in the in the lots of um, pattern and sort of chaos that's going on on my page at the moment. Um, there's a lot going on and I do add a lot of the chipboard as I said and a lot of the um, 12 by 12 stickers as well. So now just a little bit of the day. Now this was a photo that was taken of a shoot that my cousin did for us and they're not professional photographers but they really have an eye for for you know taking really nice photos that make you look really nice. <laughs> so um, they, they took some photos of us um, as a family and that was really sweet of them and it's really nice to have family photos. Back in South Africa we didn't used to do this at all and um, now that we're living in Dubai we find that it's just easier for us to do it and you know being my cousin being here it was lovely of them to 
to do the photos for us. So now the photo that I am using there, you know, only <laughs> not one of my kids is smiling. They're all squinting and they were all very unhappy that we were making them lie in sort of a star formation on the ground, looking up into the very, very bright sky. And even though it is autumn here and the sky is getting a like a blue tinge to it and it's not just white anymore. I mean, in the summer, the sky here is this, I mean, you can't mm. even look up at mm. it. It's white, white, white. <laughs> so the sky is actually turning blue again. And, um, and it was quite a quite a lovely day it wasn't too hot we could spend lots of time outside and but in that photo yeah so but I you know what even though they're not smiling and even though they are having a, a difficult time on the grass there it is such a cute photo I love Emma's face with her one eye closed I love the fact that Andre has his hand up over his eyes and Etienne's eyes are closed and um I just it's such a candid photo they don't they didn't pose at all they just you know and and I love candid photos like that where you can sort of you know this is <laughs> the epitome of the day <laughs> the kids really didn't want to take photos especially Etienne he really had a hard time that day now for those who don't know Etienne my oldest son is on the autistic spectrum and he um in some circles it's not um sort of differentiated from <clears throat> from other spectrum disorders but he is he's got Asperger's and some days are really good and then other days are not so good and um, this was one of those days where it was not so good and um, he really did not want to comply with anything and he did not want us to take photos of him so that's the sad bit of the day I've got loads of photos of Andre and Emma and of them posing and smiling and all of that but not so much of Etienne. He he really didn't want to. And then if you did take a photo of him, he pulled a he pulled a face, or he just looked up at the camera and didn't. You know, he really looked angry and frustrated. So <laughs> that was, I suppose, that's also. I mean, that's just the way the day went. And um, I am going to be journaling about this. I'll you know stick the journaling behind the layout. For those who want to read now just to get back to the layout i really wanted to use some of that um chipboard uh, titles but it was too busy so um for instance i really wanted to use that together um title but it would there was just too much going on on my page and you wouldn't see the title peeking out or standing up um over you know over the busyness of the back now I'm having a little fit with my packaging over there. <laughs> the, the the chipboard little thing wouldn't go back into the packaging. So um, I am, however, going to be using some of those sprigs from the chipboard um, title uh, thing. And I'm just going to be placing them around my um, reef as well. Again, balancing, trying to balance out uh, the little... I wanted to add something around the sort of the outside of my layout um, but and again I, I bring out the little gold ribbon uh, that we got in the collection but I don't end up using that I do bring out some of my Tarbot Tar stickers as I said and I um, get some of the red leaves and that little red flower at the top there and I really like the way that balanced out I wanted to use this as well but it was just too big and the white around the little sticker would take away or would cover some of the leaves and I didn't want to cover the green leaves. I liked the pop that the green gave and it was a very nice balance. So this was at the bottom of the top by top sticker and it's like a border, a border strip and I wanted to, as I said, wanted to put something around the edge of my layout. So I just very messily and um, on purpose very squonky if that's a word cut out this border strip and I cut it out on a diagonal line and just placed it at the top or the bottom of my layout and that just fixed the layout for me immediately I didn't feel so open um, along the edges and I do bring in some Heidi swap color shine as well some gold color shine just to bring in some you know, a bit of sparkle as well, because I like the the little gold 
clasp that is holding the embroidery hoop together and um, that just brings in some more of the gold so this is going to be it for this layout if you are interested in this beautiful kit please head on over to the paper issue shop i'll put a link down for it below and you can still purchase i'm sure that there is still i think there's still some of this kit left and you can if not then just wait for the december kit to come out um i have had some word that it is a stunner so keep your eyes wide open for this beautiful december kit that is coming and um Yes, if you like what you see, please like and subscribe and please leave a comment. It really helps with my YouTube um, algorithms. If you like the video or if you leave a comment, um, that would be just be awesome. And besides, I love reading your comments. I love getting ideas from you guys. Um, you guys are the reason that, that this is happening in any case. Um, just to share all my ideas that I have. And I also like the suggestions you guys give on the channel. So again, please head on over to the paper issue shop and take a gander. I know that there's a cut file, a free cut file that came with this kit. And um, I mean, who doesn't like freebies, right? <laughs> so anyway, hope to see you guys soon again. <laughs> Bye.